I don't think this video is going to be that long, but I just had to make it. I replied to a tweet that Dr. Ian Cutris here made. He was bringing up the fact that it might be really interesting that Intel's launching Cascade Lake X parts that are less than half the price of what Skylake X was. And if we go over to Ann and Tech's article, let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. 18 cores. <laughs> I mean, wasn't it just a few years ago that they were selling 10 cores for $1,800 and now we have 18 cores for less than 1000 It is funny if you put that into perspective, but here's the problem. That's not the true perspective. The perspective is that Intel has competition. And so what Dr. Ian Cutris said here was that if they can supply enough, this could be an interesting tat for tat. And... To be honest, I, I know what's going on. It's tongue-in-cheek. It's like, you know, there's AMD shortages. Maybe this can be enough to tempt some people. But I, I saw some people replying to this tweet going, this is interesting. I'm excited for this. Ladies and gentlemen, before you consider Cascade Lake X, please look at the numbers. So if I compare the i910980XE what a ridiculous name, to the R93950X. Well, okay, it has two more cores. The boost clock's about the same. The base clock's lower. And trust me, people, if you use the stock 165-watt TDP, this will be the base clock after five minutes. Uh, Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's uh, arguably worse than what's going on with AMD here uh, when you consider the 15% IPC advantage. And it is a 15% IPC advantage. This is not a ring bus architecture. This uses a mesh interface. Even though they've improved it, it is a few IPC points below what the 9900K has. And that's before we talk about security patches. So, oh my God. So if you combine this, ignoring security patches, AMD is 10% stronger. It has less cores. Similar boost clocks, more base clock, more IPC. That averages out to about a 10% core advantage for AMD. So their, their CPU is 10% stronger. Let's look at the I.O. Well, let's look at the PCIe at the very least. I wonder why Intel added four more PCIe lanes. Hmm, I wonder why they wanted to get to 47.3. Why do you guys think? Here's why. PCIe 4.0 has double the bandwidth per lane that PCIe 3.0 has. So if we take, what is it, 48 versus uh, 24 PCIe 4.0, it, it's the same. It's the same I.O., guys. Same I.O. Okay, so AMD's 10% stronger. There's no I.O. advantage between either. Oh, but AMD uses 36% less energy. And let's remember that Intel's TDP is not normal. This thing uses at least 165 watt. 165 watt is at the base clock. It will be boosting to 180, 200 watts regularly. This is the regular clock after throttling. This is really a 200, 250 watt CPU versus a 100 watt CPU. And, oh, Intel gave us, oh, how nice of them. <laughs> it costs 33% more. How nice, Intel. Thank you so much. And this gets me to my point. Let's be fair. What is the fair price of Cascade Lake X? Well, $979. It costs 28% more than a, what I've just demonstrated. AMD CPU is superior. It's superior, people. Okay, so if it's superior, well, let's assume they were the same price. Well, Intel's is 10% weaker, so let's remove 10% price. Okay, so the fair price of Cascade Lake X, the 18 core, 674 10 cents, right? Mm, not exactly. No, it's also 36% less efficient. This is the fair price, people. This is the fair price of Cascade Lake X. $431. I know it blows your mind. It absolutely blows your mind that Intel is now charging less than half the price of what they used to charge. And a few years ago, a fourth the price. But the fact is, it should be even less. It should be at least half what it is now. And that's what I've told people. If you were to ask me, what would it cost? When would I buy Cascade Lake X? 
Well, I'll buy it if it's less than $400. And that's all there really is to say at this point. I saw a lot of people, like I said before on Twitter, going, oh, I'm really interested in Cascade Lake X. This could be interesting. But I'm sorry. This is how bad Intel is right now. I don't want to say this. I own an Intel processor. I own two Intel processors. I don't own any AMD processors. All my mining rigs are Intel, uh, besides one that has a Phenom Times 3. So I'm not rooting against Intel. I have an Intel t-shirt that I wear in videos. I want Intel to do well, but this is the bottom. This is rock bottom for Intel. We're getting there. We're almost there. They cut prices in half, and it's not half where to it needs to be. I would consider Cascade Lake X if it was $400. 18 cores for $400 versus 12 Zen 2 cores for more? Sure, I'll take that. If it had PCIe 4.0 so I could use the newest SSDs, you know, like the consoles are. I don't want to build a expensive PC that has worst SSD performance than a gaming console next year. Or maybe if it didn't have constant security holes, which, by the way, guys, sources are telling me more are on the way. So get ready. We're not done. Side channel's not the end of it. No. Under 400, PCIe 4.0. That's what it would take for me to buy that 18-core Cascade Lake X. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, share. And if you don't, um, I don't know. Just be nice to each other. Thank you.